This was our third annual Skip the Grid trip uh, with our partners Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and nonprofit partner Heart of America. Uh, this year we added an exciting new partner with Next Tracker, uh, joining as a collaborative partner and sponsor to continue our mission to promote education equity and create opportunities for students to engage in renewable energy. I'm Kate Sorsted. I'm Vice President of Operations at Heart of America. Students today have the opportunity to go to great schools and interact with great teachers and have a ton of resources at their fingertips, and then they go home. And it's dark, and it's cold. Their day stops, so their productivity stops. So you can't do your homework at night uh, if you can't see your homework, and you can't charge your computer if you don't have power. Uh, we're here in the Shiprock School District in uh, Shiprock, New Mexico, in the Four Corners area. And a lot of these students ride the bus anywhere from two hours to 20 minutes away from school. And we're at one of the homes that uh, we have a junior here. She drives the bus for over an hour and a half every morning. The reason why we're here is so that we can bring uh, power to the families uh, so they can continue their education. Out here, you know, how can you learn from home if you don't have a power to run your internet, your hotspot? And so a lot of students were sitting in their vehicles running the car because that's got a 12 volt outlet. It's got, some of them have, you know, 120 outlet in the back seat as well. So this makes life a lot easier. So solar is simple, right? The systems we're putting in are really plug and play and they are able to expand the day for the student and for their whole family. They're all of a sudden able to charge their computers from home. They don't have to get it all done at school. They have light to do homework. They have light to just visit and hang out or read or do art or whatever they want to do. But it's simple, it's clean, it's free, and it's fun. So we had the opportunity to add the Education Day last year, and it was a way to bring what we were doing at the students' houses right into the school so that they could really understand, without even seeing us install it, what was happening back home. And by that, I mean the solar panel was in front of them. They got to understand what was happening up there and down there in the battery that they see every day. And even better, they could not only explain it, but they could show their other students and their friends that this is what's on their house and this is what somebody brought to them to help them learn. Yeah, as the education lead, my main focus this trip was with the education day uh, where we talked to PK through eighth graders, um, so a wide range of students, and we kind of broke down the systems that we're installing so that they're a little bit more familiar with what solar is, how it works, how it works in their homes. So we talked about the battery system that's being installed, the four solar panels being installed on the roofs and the lights. Um, and then we took them into an activity where we showed exactly how it works. So we have a little solar car that has a little solar panel on it so they could see real time the power of the sun. We took them outside after they finished building their little cars and then them and all their friends were like racing their cars. They were putting tool motors on the cars. So not only seeing them like embrace solar a little bit or like understand, what it is, but also having fun with it, being able to come out and just share a little bit of what we're doing so that it's not as foreign. My name is Rachel Chandler. Uh, I work at Next Tracker. I'm a structural engineer on the project engineering team. I'm a Cal Poly alumni. I've done projects like this with Cal Poly in the past and solar is one of my biggest passions right now. So it was combining all of my different passions into one big project. Uh, and it felt right. This project specifically, helping Cal Poly students achieve that same level of pride in their work and ability to give back to a community that needs it, um, it was very special for me to be able to be a part of that and to see and witness what these students, what Heart of America, what Solve, all these great people are doing. The practice is a lot of like studying for an exam, um, but then coming out here is kind of taking the test and seeing if all the hard work that you put in beforehand pays off. Um, I think Cal Poly's philosophy of learn by doing is really highlighted on this trip where we're all getting our hands dirty and we're out here on roofs, inside homes, um, installing these systems. Next Tracker's big goal and big dream is to provide renewable, clean energy across the globe. 
This whole project is all about listening to the community, listening to what they need, and then being able to provide clean, renewable, free energy to those who need it. Um, so Skip the Grid, it, hand in hand with Next Tracker's goals, we're very happy to be partnering with Solve and being here and witnessing how amazing it is. So recognizing the sun as a source of power has always been part of our teachings long before renewable energy was a word, long before solar panels were even ever invented. We knew uh, from our stories from our, from our elders and our ancestors that you know, the sun is a source of power in many ways. And now with science and technology and engineering, we're able to transform that to move little molecules around and that, that turns into energy, which goes through cables to, uh, to recharge a battery. Um, so it's a, it's a beautiful thing in a way that we can transfer the power of the sun into uh, empowering the students, empowering the mom, empowering the grandma and those visiting so that um, at night they don't get to sit in the dark. <laughs>